Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys at Rams Day After Thoughts It is okay that Trey Lance did not light it up. We have all had an opportunity to sleep on Sunday's Dallas Cowboys game, if you haven't then, my goodness, and sometimes doing this can offer a different perspective than we initially had. Marinating is good for the soul. Something new here on the blog this season will be my column offering a handful of thoughts the day after each Cowboys contest. These may wind up coming out two days after the game just due to the scheduling of all of the fantastic work of our staff here, but they will always be written the day after each game is complete. The purpose of this exercise is to see how we may feel now that the initial moment of the game's passion has left us. Opinions can change after enough time to digest has passed. For comparison's sake, my initial thoughts on the game are in the stock report that can be accessed here. There is also a video version of this exercise that will be linked to a bit further down. A very good friend of mine in Rob Stats, Guerrera, covers the San Francisco 49ers for the Gold Standard Network. I remember vividly the wars that he fought in the name of Trey Lance and about Trey Lance and in the aftermath of Trey Lance throughout everything that the Niners went through in that era. He messaged me on Monday after browsing through some Cowboys-related content and asked if I found it to be amazing how polarizing Lance is as a player. Cards on the table I told him that we are sort of used to that around here what with, oh I don't know, literally everything associated with the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, whoever that is at any given moment in time. It is true that Lance is polarizing and has his fans, and that his poor performance on Sunday seems to have caused waves in the ocean we were all anxious to finally explore, however, there is no need to panic or freak out or make any wide-sweeping assumptions about him one way or another. Like Lance, Dak Prescott is obviously a polarizing player in terms of how people view and discuss him. We needn't project the feelings or emotions or analysis of one situation onto another. The reality of the situation with Lance is that he showed a handful of moments worth exploring on Sunday, but that he still appears to be extremely raw as a quarterback looking to play in the NFL. That is okay and can be the end of it. With two preseason games left to go, it is possible that Lance turns a corner and looks amazing or that he simply does not have whatever it is at this level. Again, there is no need to rush to judgment. The preseason is all about taking things one step at a time and we should offer that idea to everybody involved, including ourselves when it comes to talking about it. Cowboys called out as new C.D. Lamb contract rumor emerges. If C.D. Lamb isn't on the field for the Dallas Cowboys opener, it would be utterly stupid, according to ESPN insider Adam Schefter. The Cowboys and Lamb are locked in a tense contract standoff. The 25-year-old star is holding out, pushing for a new deal that reflects his desire to be compensated as one of the league's elite receivers. Lamb is slated to earn $17.9 million next season on the final year of his rookie deal. The high mark for wide receivers was set in the offseason by Minnesota Vikings star Justin Jefferson, who earns $35 million per year on his new deal. Schefter doesn't think the sides are too far apart and believes a deal will get done ahead of week one. It would be a huge upset if C.D. Lamb is not there for the start of the regular season, Schefter said on Monday, August 12 on NFL Live. Now I don't know whether they can bridge the differences, which aren't that much, this week or next week or the week after. But this deal's going to get done. Schefter went one step further when describing the situation in Dallas with Lamb, noting that it shouldn't be as complicated as it has been. It would be shocking and utterly stupid if it did not get done in time for the start of the regular season, Schefter said. It's disappointing that it went on as long as it did, but the fact that they can't get this deal done is hard to imagine. He's got one year left on his deal. Everybody knew it was coming. We know what the number should be. It should be simple to get done. And the full expectation is it will get done, and it will get done in time for the start of the regular season. So this is just a lot of noise until then. 
The rant from Schefter came on the same day that a new lamb extension rumor emerged from the now notorious X account at Pretty Ricky 213. The anonymous but surprisingly accurate insider tweeted that Lamb's saga with the Cowboys is nearing its end. As the NFL world waits on the Brandon Ayuk situation, Ricky can confirm the Cowboys have offered C.D. Lamb a four-year contract worth $33.5 million per year. I would be surprised if this isn't resolved soon, the account wrote. Only time will tell if that ends up being true, but it could also be a pretty accurate guess. It would make Lamb the second-highest paid receiver in the league, behind only Jefferson. The Cowboys, particularly owner Jerry Jones, have mishandled the negotiations with Lamb. Jones recently had to clarify a remark where he mentioned he didn't feel an urgency to resolve the situation with Lamb. I think I got in trouble the other day when I said, look, we're not urgent about CD, Jones said on August 11. Well, no one appreciates CD being on the field any more than I do. But let me say this, he wouldn't be taking a snap out here today if he'd been here for training camp. You gotta use your head when you expose key players. That gives the other younger players a chance to do it. We know exactly what CD can do, and he's worked out with Dak. So we wouldn't have him out here. It has really not anything to do with his contract. The Cowboys open the regular season on September 8 against the Cleveland Browns. They'll hope to have Lamb in uniform when they take the field. The Dallas Cowboys and Pittsburgh Steelers suddenly drawing trade talks, report. The Dallas Cowboys and Pittsburgh Steelers both feel like they have what it takes to return to the playoffs in 2024. Dallas is coming off three straight 12-win seasons and are looking to keep that success going. The Steelers feel as though they can revitalize Russell Wilson's career. Devavra Kulkarni of NFL Analysis listed four trades the Steelers should pursue, Brandon Cooks of the Cowboys was on that list, Brandon Cooks, W.R., Dallas Cowboys similar to Ayak, the Steelers could also look at Brandon Cooks, the current number two in Dallas. This trade also doesn't seem too likely given that the Cowboys themselves are lacking quality in their receiving room. Dash 0 colon 30 however, a good value for the trade especially in terms of draft capital may be enough for the Cowboys to think it over. It would also give their remaining young receivers more playing time, which will no doubt be helpful for the future. The veteran leadership of Brandon Cooks has been a great example, while younger receivers like Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, Jalen Cropper, Tyron Billy Johnson, and Ryan Flournoy have shined in practice as well. In spite of an injury that briefly slowed him, Flournoy has especially shown flashes of promise when he has been on the field. Two weeks into training camp, Mickey Spagnola of DallasCowboys.com said the Cowboys' offense is really cooking with cooks. It would be interesting to see if the Cowboys would move on from a veteran like that in the wake of such uncertainty at the position. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Cooks? Leave your opinion in the comments.